Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, and in this video I'm going to be doing a speed comparison between the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4S. Now let's take a quick break and then get started. Welcome back guys, I've already got these two phones cleared of the catch and cookies in Safari. I also have five applications open that we're going to use to demo on this video. And I have only the same five applications open here on the multitasking bar. And we're going to first run the test using Wi-Fi. So you can see here we have a Wi-Fi network connected on both. Only the applications that we're going to be using here in the test are running. So what this is going to do is test out and determine the speed within the A5 chip and the A6 chip. So let's go ahead and press them both at the same time and see what we get. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to this video. This video is showing me how to uh, take. Let's go ahead and do some speed tests here on my Wi Fi network. Once again, testing out the processors within the A5 and the A6 chip. You get a ping score of 37 on each right away. And we appear to have gotten a little bit over 7 on the download speed on the iPhone 4S and a little bit over 4 on the download speed on the iPhone 5. On the upload speed on the iPhone 4S we have about 0.70 megabytes per second and on the iPhone 5 we have 0.29 megabytes per second. Let's go ahead and restart that test. Right away we have a ping score of 39 on the iPhone 4S and 37 on the iPhone 5. And we are at 7.48 megabytes on the download on the iPhone 4S and 4.15 megabytes on the download on the iPhone 5. 0.72 megabytes on the upload on the iPhone 4S and 0.24 megabytes on the upload speed on the iPhone 5. The next thing we're going to do is test out the cameras. Let's go ahead and take some pictures now and check out the difference in shutter speed. Now let's run some benchmarks using Geekbench. See over here it says uh, model iPhone 5, over here model iPhone 4S, both running iOS 6. So let's go ahead and run the benchmarks on both. Looks like the iPhone 5 is beating out the iPhone 4S, and it has. And now we have a Geekbench score of 1649, and we're still waiting on the iPhone 4S to complete. and the iPhone 4S has completed. Now you can actually see here the difference in Geekbench scores. Apple has greatly improved the processing speed, whether it comes to gaming, the GPU, the CPU, everything inside here has been improved. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi and use our 4G, which is both AT&T. But I wanna go ahead and give you guys a comparison with the actual AT&T 4G network. So keep in mind, this is 4G, it's not 4G LTE. I don't have LTE in my area. So you can see now at the top we were both on AT&T 4G. So let's go ahead and run the speed test again. Right away we get a ping score of 90 on the iPhone 4S and 87 on the iPhone 5. Now on the download speed we're just topping over 4 megabytes on the download on the iPhone 4S and we topped almost to 7 on the download on the iPhone 5. We are at a little over 1 megabyte per second on the upload on the iPhone 5 and just over half a megabyte per second on the upload on the iPhone 4S. Let's go ahead and play my YouTube video again, this time running on the AT&T 4G network. What's up guys, welcome back in this video. What's up guys, welcome back in this video. I'm going to be we're going to do a quick gaming test now and see if the GPU is a little faster on the iPhone 5. Let's 
just wanted to show you the frames per second and how fast the game's actually loading up. Of course, I can't play both games at once. Well, that has been a quick demo of the speed comparison between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and a favorite. It does help me out a ton. And also, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. I'm going to leave a link to a playlist down in the description of all my iPhone 5 coverage. Please be sure to check out that playlist and check out all the videos so far that I have done on the iPhone 5 and all my coverage. Stay tuned for plenty more iPhone coverage as well as my full review. And I'll see you guys on the next video.